Don't you think it's no coincidence that the aspiration for perfection and stories we create in our sleep are both called dreams? And when I think about what they have in common, I view them as the ideal world that takes place in our minds and has the perspective to happen in our lives. As it turns out, our imagination plays a crucial role in making the world better. Imagine you're a builder. Each block is your little idea, and your main task is to combine those blocks in a way no one has done before. Keep in mind that the building must stay without breaking. Your advantage is that you can try it as many times as you wish, and you won't be judged for not making it after a certain number of attempts. Once you finish with success, you become an inventor yourself. Most of the time, people think they're imperfect. That's not a bad thing at all. We are imperfect. I appreciate the boredom. That's when ideas are created. I love the unsatisfied spirit of humanity. That's why we dream bigger. I love the laziness of society. That's when we think of easier ways to solve our problems. Do you know what's fascinating? You can make a priceless progress for future generations. Doesn't it sound wonderful? I would like to acknowledge a person who showed us the significance of our dreams. He lived a long time ago, but he left a great mark on humanity that will never be forgotten. Archimedes was an ancient Greek mathematician, physicist, and engineer. His ability to dream beyond the limitation of his era has led the world to develop faster. And not only did he make an innovation, but he also encouraged innovators. Archimedes inspired generations of dreamers to believe in themselves and push the boundaries of human abilities. How do you imagine innovation without our aspirations to live in a world of today's science fiction? How can we develop without willing to make our dreams a reality? Wouldn't we live in stagnation? Centuries ago, phones were just part of human's imagination, a fantasy. No one could believe that you could talk to someone thousands of kilometers away and even be able to see them. Now look at all of us, using it every day with no astonishment. And today, when we think of unbelievable things, we hope that one day they will become a reality, like electric cars and artificial intelligence have become. Why does dreaming big matter? You might still wonder. Well, imagine if the person who invented printing press thought, hmm, there's no need for that. People can write with pens. It's not only about this case. Every big change in the world started with someone's dream. Having your own ideas and then experimenting with them is a route that guides us to awesome discoveries. I want to ask you a question. Do you have a favorite superhero? If you do, raise your hand. See, since I was 10 years old, I've always loved superheroes from Marvel and DC, especially Iron Man and Batman. I liked the fact that they didn't just get their powers. Firstly, they had a dream of making things right in the world, and then invented technology needed to fulfill the purpose. In reality, the heroes are the ones who make breakthroughs, like creating vaccines for new viruses, finding cures for diseases, or inventing technology that makes us take a leap towards a rapid development. I always thought robot workers were way in the future, However, self-checkout machines have already replaced many of the cashiers in the lots of grocery stores. In addition, some restaurants even suggest serving guests with robots' assistance. I love the development of technologies over time. I cannot believe that my childhood dream, sunglasses with cameras, have been recently released and are all over the Internet now. As we grow up, our dreams alter. At one point, many of us wanted to live in a town full of sweets. Even though we have completely different wishes compared to what we craved in the past, the root of our dreams is the same. The true essence of living in a candy town lies in creating a life filled with joy and freedom. So what's stopping you from dreaming? Feel free. Don't be ashamed to be unsatisfied with reality and think of the ways to eradicate today's problems, because without it, no innovative ideas come to mind. 
The main thing is to determine the direction of the river and not swim against it. Because there's no point in always looking back. We cannot change the past. We cannot travel back in time and we can't stop it either. But the present and the years ahead of us are in our hands. We should aim to change the future. And therefore, it's important that we desire more than we have and dream beyond the horizon. Thank you.